All right, we just got a little delivery. Oh, the flower factory. I was thinking Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, just want to let you know how much we care about you and we're sending all our best wishes and love your way. Aww. We're praying for your speed recovery and best health of Jamie, Jason, and Zane. Oh, thank you guys. You make me cry. Oh, love you. All right, what's up, everybody? We're back. She's uh, doing really well today. It's about 10, 10 p.m., and we are going to drain her drains. <laughs> wow. I think it's right there. That would suck. Which I certainly hope that I don't. I bet you are. So tomorrow morning, you guys, we gotta get up bright and early, take another trip down to Newport. Another hour and a half drive. Oh and yeah, Jackson. hour 45 to two hours. Jackson is getting sick. Yeah. So that should be fun. But Daddy is doing it all. Feeding Jackson, feeding Mommy, brushing Jackson's teeth, brushing Mommy's teeth, washing Jackson's face. Washing mommy's face. <laughs> Poor daddy. But such a good daddy. Did I go that last bit in there? There we go. All right. So this is the right one. Unbuckle that. Okay. Here we go. See how much we got tonight. Bless you, Jackson. Bless you. Wash this face. Day one, post surgery recovery. Let's get that. Okay. 
Thank you again. Oh, I'm good. Alright. <laughs> she wants me to get him good. Some dirty yeah, teeth. Okay. Uh, you know how to brush my teeth. I, I brush my teeth for like 15 minutes. I was a dentist in a past life. Let's see how good we do. Ready? Oh. Harder. Harder. This is just like a bigger version of Jackson. Mm -hmm. Nice. We'll count to ten. One, two, three, four. Freeway. That's why the cop is stopping all traffic on the freeway right now. Aww. Where is it? It's up here. Is it alive? Yeah. Oh, good. Jesus. Yeah, it's alive and walking. Just walking on the freeway? Just chilling. That's sad. Has no idea that I'm stopping thousands of cars. <gasps> I'll be late to my post stop because there's a dog on the freeway. Yeah, listen, nurse lady. Uh, <laughs> we're late. There's a dog on the freeway. And she's like, yeah, right. Sure. Mm -hmm, sure. Same dog that ate your homework? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was, ma'am. <laughs> I saw it. Aww. Oh, puppy. Here. See? Check it out. Now it's time. There it goes. Oh, it's taking off. Oh, that police thought he had him. He's like, yeah, right. <laughs> He's at open lanes for days. No, look at the police officer. This cop is so flustered. He has no idea what to do. Yeah. That was a valiant effort there, buddy. Good job. Um, sir, I'm going to be late for my appointment. Yeah, it's OK. At least we have video proof. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Incisions with soap and water, and then apply the neosporin four times a day. OK. See if you're patch on? Yeah. You're taking that off today. Okay. If you are experiencing the dry mouth and the blurry vision, that's going to settle in a couple hours, okay? Okay. Are you eating okay? Yeah. Just bored of crackers and broth. <laughs> I'm so hungry for like real food. Just listen to your body. It does get easier every day. Hey. Hi. 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 
cat. Yeah. Cute. How old is he? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Three. Goodness. Oh, you guys are so much better right now. It's so look. itchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We might get Jones out today, might not. <laughs> I can kind of see my small little boom in there. I might have some caving in. I don't know. It doesn't look pretty though, but whatever. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have pretty boobs after removing big old implants, so. That is right. Oh my god, that's not cute. <laughs> Well, the worst is now, and it only gets better from there. There's a salt water. Yeah. The last thing is, you know, how you store them does matter. So if you just put them in a drawer somewhere, that's fine. But if you were to keep it in this bag, wrapped up, some moisture gets out, but it gets trapped in the bag, and you have that bag hidden somewhere in the dark, you know, moist place, you'll see mold on them. Okay. So all those scary pictures with mold on the internet, yeah. It's not how they came out of the body, right. it's how they were stored as shit. Right. So if you just put them in the drawer without the bag, it will never happen like that. But it will happen if you put it in a bag. Look at those. <laughs> those were so much heavier than I expected. How much did they weigh? Like two pounds? Mm, maybe not quite that. that crazy. crazy. So you're doing great, and we'll see you next week. Now, the main thing I want you to keep telling yourself the first 48 hour is the worst. Now okay. you're just getting out of it. So how things have been for the last 48 hours is not how you're gonna be going forward. It's gonna be better every day. Yeah. But you just have to be careful. Yeah. I woke up for the first time without my eyes burning in years. Good. Like I fell awake today and was like, this is insane. Then you don't need coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> it's just a habit. Big bobos, mommy doesn't have big bobos anymore. Oh, in the bay? In the bay. <laughs> yeah. He's like, mommy's bobos are in the diaper bag. He's so smart. They are so smart. You need those for mommy's Oh my gosh. Well, what's going on? What's going through your mind? I got emotional holding those implants because they're so heavy. Mama. Oh, we gotta get on. And he said they were a bit overfilled, which is normal. Press that one. Good job. But it's just like holding those and feeling how heavy they were. And he said that was a cause of like me not being able to breathe very well because those were sitting on my chest. And like you felt those. So we're at Whole Foods eating. I got my drains out and I get to eat food now. I flavor, not just broth and crackers and bananas like turkey wild rice soup jackson's having pizza lucky 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 is that good that's a big pizza dude <laughs> this is gonna taste so good though and i can have coffee So good. So, so good. Real food. Mm. I'm so hungry. No! No! Why are we your face? We are your face. <laughs> Big O. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coffee. Who's scared of it? Daddy's having chicken breast. Cheese. With Brussels sprouts. Cheese. And black coffee. Cheese. Cookie. Say hi, Easty Gang. Hey, men. Oh, wow. Hey, we're men. Mm. Is it good? Hi. Yummy? This is Ken. Hi there. Easty Gang, say hi to Ken. He's uh, escorting us to Starbucks for Rochelle's first coffee post-surgery. And Jackson's having a blast. Yeah.
we're in Newport Beach, we do need one of these, except it might be a little too busy around where we live <laughs> to drive one of these. <laughs> All right, is this fun, Jax? Look, we got Ken up here. That was. Nice and it's beautiful out for all of our family in Seattle. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the rain for another nine months. But we love you guys and we'll check back in soon. All right, what's up everybody? We're in here, what day is today? Friday, Saturday, Saturday. It's Saturday. This is, uh, we got Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday. Four days since the next plant. This is my... about to braid her hair. First time it was easier, because it was wet, but we will see how I do this time. If you hear any owls, it wasn't on purpose. Oh man, that can braid, braid some hair. doing a four-day post-op update. Um, I have been getting swamped with DMs. Um, so many people asking how I've been feeling. Thank you guys so much. Um, and then a lot of women still being like, I just watched your video and I had no idea BII was a thing or even existed. I've had women reach out freaking out saying, I just got implants two, three weeks ago. Like now I'm scared. Um, and some women who literally have every single symptom that you can think of. So, like I said, I'm always here to answer questions. Um, I'm trying to get through all of the DMs as much as possible. I just think it's easier for us to put everything in a video so everyone can watch and get their answered or questions answered this way so I don't have to, you know, do each one one by one. But um, since surgery, I mean, I didn't have any after pain at all. Like there was no pain in my chest. The only thing that hurt was my throat. I was like, did I get throat surgery or <laughs> my boobs removed? And I'm pretty sure it's because they put tubes or air or something down your throat while you're in surgery. So when I woke up, it was super hard to swallow. And plus I had the nausea patch behind my ear, which gives you super dry mouth. So that was rough. But um, it's day four now and I feel fine. I got to shower for the first time yesterday. Um, the Dr. Tan just wants me to, you know, practice very slow arm movement. So even when I'm washing my hair, I have to just go super, super slow, like no fast arm movements or anything. Like I'm not supposed to use my arms at all, really. So um, that's that. Um, Grant braided my hair. Good job. I didn't know he can braid my hair. So at our pre-op appointment, I told Dr. Chan, you know, I am mentally prepared for the worst because I know my skin is very thin and I was a super, super small bee um, naturally and I do not have a lot of natural breast tissue. And so I literally envisioned the worst my boobs can possibly look while taking these out. And so yesterday I got to share with for the first time. And the only time I saw my boobs was like look like opening and looking and so I can see them from the top but I saw them for the very first time yesterday when we took all the wrapping off and 
as much as I prepared myself, it was very shocking um, because I've breastfed. Like I said, I don't have a lot of breast tissue and rewinding to the very first surgeon I had a consultation with before I saw Dr. Chun. Um, I talked to him about BII and at, at that time BII wasn't super, super out yet. Like the FDA hadn't put anything out yet, nothing. And so the surgeon was like, well, you know, you're very young and I would hate to see you with, you know, your boobs looking that way. Like if I remove the capsule, you might have a caved in chest and this and that. And he's like, I would just hate to do that to you at such a young age. And I was frustrated because I'm like, dude, I'm trying to tell you like, this is making me sick. Like, I don't care. Like I need the capsule out no matter what my boobs look like after. But his concern was more of how they were gonna look after rather than helping me because I'm sick. And at the end of that consult with that surgeon, he didn't even know how to do a capsulectomy. So thank God I didn't go to him because he was like, well, I'm gonna have to do a little more research on capsulectomy. And I was like, all right, see you later. <laughs> like, not having you do this. So um, I knew that was gonna happen because the capsule, if I were to remove just the implant, the capsule would still be, would still give me like some sort of volume in there. Like it'd be holding, you know, some kind of form to my boobs, but taking that capsule out and like, removing it from like my muscle and my skin, like my boobs, man. It was an emotional, very emotional thing. So seeing them for the first time, I kind of started laughing and I was like, oh my God. And then I started crying. <laughs> well, I mean this, we knew it was gonna happen too because we chose against the lift. She chose against the lift and I'm in support of whatever she wants to do. And so with that being said, you gotta be mentally prepared that without the lift, you know, and the reason why we did that and why she really chose to do that is for her next kid, for yeah. our next kid. And we wanna make sure that she is able to breastfeed that kid and a lift, you know, there's a lot of chances where she, getting a lift would, you know, drastically affect being able to breastfeed or not. And so that- Well, and like Dr. Chun said, it'd be a waste of money. If you're still gonna have kids, why would you get a lift for a temporary result when you're going to breastfeed and then your boobs are going to deflate again? So it was a good choice and I'm glad I didn't get a lift knowing that we want another baby. Um, but at 34, you're so young and you see your boobs and it's so, so hard to see yourself that way, especially from the side view because I, I am caved in because I literally have no breast tissue and they're just hanging there. So, um, yeah, so I cried and Grant just held me and he said over and over again, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. And he kept saying it until I stopped crying. <laughs> and so I'm just thankful that I have him here by my side and, um, I pray that all the other women out there have the same kind of support that I have with Grant. Um, but I took my shower for the first time, saw my boobs for the first time, and I mean, in a way, I feel powerful too that I could, I did something like that because my health is number one. And what is crazy, everyone keeps asking me, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Oh my God. Like, I don't know if you can imagine living with your eyes literally on fire, just burning all day, every day. But the next day when I woke up, up until today, my eyes have not burned. I have been awake and I have felt alive for the first time in so many years. <laughs> Jackson, come here. The water. Yeah. The water. And then we got this little joy. Here, come here. What? Come here. Ready? Oh, oh my God. Oh, you're getting so heavy. He just walks in. Yeah, with say hi to everybody. Turn and say hi. Popsicle all over his face. He got a fudgesicle <laughs> on his face. <laughs> here, let me hold it for you. Do you need daddy to wipe your mouth? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Don't touch that yet. All right, can you sit down right here? Sit down right here. 
Good job. All right. Oh, wow. Mommy's gonna keep talking for a sec, okay? Say okay. 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 Um, but yeah, it was crazy. My eyes don't burn. I feel awake and alive for the first time in years. And after my post-op appointment in Newport Beach the other day, we stopped at Whole Foods because our drive is an hour and a half there and back. So two hours. Two hours. We drove 12 hours total to Newport and back last week. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, but so we stopped for food, gave Jax a break from the car. And so we sat outside at Whole Foods and had lunch and I was literally, it's the weirdest, craziest feeling to explain unless you've gone through this because you're always hiding. You don't want to be social. You don't want to go outside because um, you're going through so much. Um, but I sat outside and I was, I realized I was just staring at these palm trees like this for the longest time. And it just, it felt like I was seeing the world for the first time in 13 years. And it's so hard to explain, but it's like I was reborn again. And it makes me so sad that I missed out on 13 years of my life. I feel like these implants literally took 13 years away from me. But I'm feeling great, and so I want all the women out there who are going through this to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and you'll you'll feel good again. And it's just such an amazing feeling. Um, and I'm glad that I wasn't like this for the thir first 13 years of Jackson's life, at least, you know. So at least I can be the best mom I can be and give him 100% now and be 100% to Grant because I know Grant went through a lot for the past three years. <sighs> and so now it's just new beginnings and a new life for all of us, not just me. And um, yeah, so I'm feeling alive and freaking great. And the fact that my eyeballs aren't burning is the most amazing feeling in the world. Like my, I'm awake, it's, it's crazy. And so Dr. Chun, um, he handed us the bag of implants and I came and hold them because I can't carry anything that heavy, but they are so freaking heavy. It's pretty crazy. I was surprised that this he was been shocked. hanging on her chest for all these years, especially through a pregnancy on top of carrying that baby. And it just explains so much on why she couldn't breathe, why she'd have panic attacks and not being able to breathe because these things are just sitting on your chest and it's causing pressure over all these years. And then especially she was so close to having a panic attack when she was pregnant, right? No, I had a panic attack at six months with Jackson because my belly was so big, my boobs were so big. I was just like, <gasps> like in the middle of the night and I couldn't catch my breath. And I was scared because I was pregnant. So I'm like, is the baby not getting air? And I just literally started panicking and freaking out. And the first incident ever with my breathing, six, seven, eight, nine, it was four years after I got my implants. I was living in West Hollywood. I took a spin class at Cycle House. And if you haven't gone to Cycle House, see Nichelle, she's the best cycling instructor ever. Um, but at the time my mom was diagnosed with lymphoma and I talked to my cycling instructor about putting an event on to raise awareness for lymphoma. And it was a very emotional class. So I'm sitting there cycling, my heart's beating, and afterwards, you know, the whole class was dedicated to my mom and I started crying and thanking Nichelle for doing the class and she gave me the tightest hug and literally right when she let go, my, I had no air. I couldn't breathe, my air stopped and I was literally gasping for air and they brought me to the front desk and they sat me on the ground and one of the instructors, he took my arms and put them over my head and he was like, breathe, just breathe. He was in, out, in, out. He was coaching me and I was just literally like <gasps> <gasps> So that was like my first panic attack. I think it was all the emotions and my heart beating and then she squeezed me so tight and I just lost it. And then from there, it started happening all the time. 
um, which is very scary when you feel like you're not getting air. And I've had two like pretty serious episodes at the gym when I was by myself where I literally, I just couldn't breathe. I, wor I was working out so hard I couldn't catch my breath for like a really long time. And the second time it happened at the gym, it was here and I called Grant after it happened, but I literally had to just put my arms over my head and like tell myself like, you're still breathing, your heart is still beating, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Because I know once I panic, all hell is going to break loose and I didn't want to cause a scene at the gym. And so I was literally just trying to catch my breath as calmly as I could without freaking out. And I mean, eventually I got my breath back, but it's a very scary feeling. And Dr. Chun was like, you feel how heavy those are? Like, it's pretty crazy. He's like, these were definitely a the cause of your breathing issues like and it's the wild thing is is over time they're so heavy like it makes me careful. cringe Jeez. it makes me cringe knowing that these i paid someone to put these in me it's like <laughs> oh, it's just i just can't believe it it's gross but these say 330 cc's and I had 425. So they used a 330 cc bag and filled it up to 425. So they are overfilled, which is normal. A lot of surgeons do that. It's a very normal practice, but the weight of these, I literally thought they were two pounds each. We put them on our food scale and they're about two pounds together. But I mean, two pounds hanging on your chest for 13 years, it's like, yeah, your boobs aren't going to be pretty after. Like, your skin is pretty freaking stretched out. So, I mean, it makes me cringe just knowing that we put this in our bodies. Like, this little tab right here. Like, this doesn't belong in our body. Like, it's plastic. And it's not even plastic. Like, these are made up of, like, 40 different harmful chemicals. And that's what's causing the BII and the cancer and the autoimmune disease and everything we go through. Like... It's just crazy to me now. Now that I have a different outlook on it, I can't believe I paid for someone to put these in my chest and to wake up with like bigger boobs. It's just, it's crazy. So that is my four day post-op update. I am feeling alive and great already. My eyes aren't burning and it's only day four. So all of you women getting ready to explant or getting your appointment started or your consultations, just know there is light at the end of the tunnel and you will be better, you will be healthy again, you will feel normal again, and um, yeah, so make sure you share, like, comment, definitely share this video. Um, there are women out there freaking out because they just got implants like two or three weeks ago and they have no idea that BII is a thing. Like, all women out there need to know that BII is a thing and if they choose to get implants after knowing everything that could happen that's on them it's their choice but i mean everyone needs to know about this so keep spreading the awareness and um yeah feel free to send your questions in if you have any after this yeah comment all your questions below i help type them out so i always read them to rochelle and then type out the answers uh, for her right now as she's healing. So we try and get back to everybody um, as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, that's the Easty Gang. You wanna come say bye? Come here. Say bye, Easty Gang. Bye, Easty. Checking in. Checking out. Checking out.